I don't think they're going to stop until they can put him in prison. No, that that's the goal. So it, what do you think will happen with Trump if he gets put in prison? Well, how do you what do you think the American public? How do you think they'll react? I don't want to think about that because I mean, listen, I I have enough going on. I'm not going to go to a war for a politician. There's a lot of people that will. There's a lot of people that will that that. They either don't have enough to lose or they feel like the cause is worthy of it. I'm not talking about you personally. No, no, I know what you mean. I mean, but I, I think that people need to start thinking about it. it. It's, yeah. Because this is what authoritarians do. It is. I mean, you're you're literally watching. First of all, Joe Biden's not doing this. No. Joe Biden's not in charge. Joe no. Biden is a, is a useful idiot, a dupe, a puppet. Yep. They installed Joe Biden because they knew that they could let Joe Biden be the face. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden is the decrepit face of authoritarian supremacy. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, no, it's yeah, Behind exactly. The scenes, I believe it's uh it's Barack Obama and Valerie Jarrett. That's who I think is pulling all these tricks. There's a lot of people pulling the strings. I mean, there, there's a lot. They're the whole regime. I mean, so, their corporate sponsors. This is what this is what authoritarians do. It just looked like in uh, Brazil, wasn't it? Uh, this guy Bolasaro. He was in Washington. He goes back to Brazil. And now they're talking about putting him in prison. Yeah, jailing your political opponents. You jail yeah. your political opponents. That's what we're looking at here. Yeah, first, I mean, wh what do you think the public reaction would be? Yeah, if they put Donald Trump in prison. It'd be bad. It'd, It'd make January scary. 6th look like a tea party. Like, it, it, it would be, it, it wouldn't be good. We'll put it that way. I, I, yeah, I well, mean, it's a really scary thought. Andrew Tate said it best, and I don't know what your opinion on him is. We're neutral on him. I think he says some ridiculous stuff, and he says some, I don't know. I thought know. he was okay till he started saying, you know, men ought to date transgender. Yeah. So <laughs> what? They got a penis. So what? Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> that's the problem, yeah. That's the exact problem. <laughs> well, he said it best. He said, it's a three-step process. First, they try to cancel you. If that doesn't work, then they try to put you in jail. And if that doesn't work, then they try to kill you. Yeah. And they, once they once the jail thing doesn't work, work then we're talking serious problems because we've they've done it to kennedy already we've we've seen it it's on the record what they what they do to presidents that don't uh, don't fall in line with them and they've gotten a lot better at it since then they've had 60 years of practice so I, it, it's concerning to think about it, it really is it's but like it, people should think about so what's the reaction going to be and and i think about it from this perspective what are you gonna try not to get sucked into yeah it it's it's decisions everyone has out. to make because I mean if you think about if you think about the times right now it's a lot different than it was you know during the revolution in 1776 people didn't have a lot to lose back then you know if you re they really did well and you know to be honest if you look at society right now there's a lot of people out there right now that don't have a lot to nothing lose to lose now. yeah that's you know? a good point that's I mean when point. you have like in Washington State they just signed a law they just signed into law mm -hmm. the state can take your kid from you if you don't affirm their gender. If you don't want to let them get their get their wiener cut off. Yep, that's a new law. Right? That, I, that's I, a new law. In I Washington told people State. on this can show. Can you imagine? I mean, I'm a parent. If they try to if they try to to take my kids, well, then we got to fight. Yeah, that, gonna that's going to be a fight. Well, and, and I think that's what they do. I think they do. It's a conditioning thing because if you'll let them mess with your kids, there's nothing you won't let them do. Because most people, they will let you mess with their job, they will let you mess with them, they will let you mess with whatever. But you, the, the kid, their kids are their last line. You're not going to cross that on them. And if they can get you to break on that, they can get you to break on anything. Um, my biggest fear is we see another election in 2024 that's. And then Trump goes to jail. So you f election, arrest your opponent. I, that's what I think you're you're encroaching on really dangerous territory. Well, I think that, that that's banana republic. I think there's there's a couple of couple of realities people have to accept. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's not that I wish for this. Yeah. Right. Uh, but there, in all societies, comes a point. Yep. Where you're out of options and you have nothing to lose, mm -hmm. right? And I'm not saying that we're there. No. And I'm not saying that we're close to there. I agree. But we're certainly headed there. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.